So it was on stream today and we had a thought. We had a thought together as a unit. Jade Warriors for 500 gold seemed like they had pretty high stats. I don't remember them having 90 armor. It's because of that ability where they stand still. Yes, I got that. Cool. Um, they also have really high stats. And I was starting to think, I'm like, huh, that's a little weird. That reminds me of something. And Cathay has a problem in land battles. In domination mode, don't care. Not talking about that. Um, I don't know the meta well enough to make a whole video about it. But it was getting us thinking that Jade Warriors hold surprisingly well. What unit are they most like? And I had to go into the spell browser because I was very curious what unit, what the dwarves would be like. So a dwarf warrior, oh god, a long beard. We don't got a long beard. A dwarf warrior has 22 melee attack, 40 melee defense, and 85 armor. 20, 22, 40, 85. 22, 40, 85. 22, 40, 85. 32, 48, 90. So they have better melee attack, better melee defense, and better armor, the same shields, as dwarf warriors for 50 gold. And I think they have a higher speed, 28 versus I don't know what. We'll check in a second. 28 speed, 28 weapon strength. Versus 28 speed, 28 weapon strength. Okay, they're actually pretty similar there. 100 models, some spell resist for dwarf warriors. That is insane, man. Dwarves are supposed to have, like, the heavily armored best infantry ever. And jade warriors kind of <laughs> beat them at that, which is nuts. Um, before you get too mad at me, let me finish my thoughts. Before you get too mad at me, let, let me finish my thought. Long beards. 30, 48, 100. 30, 48, 100. 30, 48, 100. 30, 48, 100. Okay, got it. 30, 48, 100. Jade Warriors have 10 less armor and two more two more melee attack than Longbeards, 10 less armor. Sure, they don't have ITP and stuff, but stats-wise, they're closer to Longbeards than Dwarf Warriors for only 50 gold. Okay, human boy, that's fine. Things are comparable. One, fuck you. Two, sorry, that was aggressive. I shouldn't have said fuck you. But still, nah! Dwarves are supposed to be good at stuff. Dwarves pay every unit of theirs is supposed to be slightly better than most other units because they don't have access to spells. And then Thoric Ironbrow came along with runes. Yeah, 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 I got that. But they don't have access to spells. Um, they don't have access to cavalry. They don't have access to large single entity monsters. They don't have access to single entity monster boards. They don't have flyers to support their gyrocopters. Cathay has all that. They have a full roster. So, like, you can't also be good at the dwarves' dwarf thing. And they also have, you know, shielded, heavily armored uh, crosswomen. So they're, like, too good at the dwarf thing. And it's also weird that they love boxing. But why is their boxing more toxic? Because their boxes get healing. Their boxes get single entities. Their boxes get flying calf. Their odd boxes get regular calf. Like, that's not okay. It's not okay. And Human Boy, you might be like, you're still freaking out. Human Boy, you're freaking out about too much stuff. Am I? Because look at this shit. So in the patch notes, this shit didn't even happen yet, but they want to make formation attack grant nine more melee defense upon activating the ability. But unfortunately, they didn't make it into the release, so it's coming into more Empires. Nine more melee defense. Nine more. So these fucking guys are supposed to have 57 melee defense. 57 melee defense. What is that even close to? What else has 57 melee defense? Chaos Warriors have 44. Chosen have 60. They're getting closer to Chosen. They have the same melee defense as Chosen with Halberds with Formation Attack. They have more melee defense than Chosen with Great Weapons, but that's not a great example. Okay, so they have like, they have the same, if not better, melee defense than Chosen with Halberds and slightly less than Chosen. Slightly less than Chosen! Chosen! Less than Iron Breakers. That's nice, at least. More than long beards. So after the formation attack buffs come, they will have more Jade Warriors will have more melee defense and melee attack than long beards. Than long beards. Than long beards. That's insane. How is that not insane? Better than Temple Guard. That's insane. Like how is that okay? How is that an okay thing? Better than Swordmasters by a lot, actually. Better than Swordmasters by a fucking lot. Better than Silver and Guard. Like, come on, come on, man. That's fucked up. 
That is fucked up. They'll have better melee. They already have better melee defense than Corn Warriors. They'll have better melee defense than the Exalted Bloodletters of Corn. Like, like how is that not fucked up, man? Come on. Why does Formation Attack need so many goddamn buffs? Like, not just Formation Attack, sorry. Formation Attack and like defensive stance and battle harmony of yang they just get rewarded so much for standing the fuck around 48 melee defense it's gonna be 57 for a 500 gold unit that's ah Rawr. subscribe yes yes